how to draw in Microsoft Word. This term is searched 100 times per month in Google, whereas how to draw in Google Docs is searched 800 times every month. And the reason is simple that drawing in Google Docs is not that user friendly as it is in Microsoft Word. So that is why I'm making this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can draw line shapes, arrows, uh, circles, call outs, and how you can insert images, how you can uh, circle something within the Google Docs, and how you can uh, insert a curved line or how you can do a free handwriting with the help of scribbles including your signatures so if you're interested uh, keep watching and if you are here for a one specific video jump to that specific part of the video because I'm going to add the chapters within that video so without any further ado let's get started so just as a quick comparison in Microsoft Word if I want to draw something, I can simply go to uh, click insert shapes and I can select this scribble and I can start to draw. This feature was available in Microsoft Word since I think it was made. However, recently they have also added uh, the feature with the help of the stylus. You can draw the lines and shapes uh, in the a microsoft word but unfortunately in google docs this drawing feature is not clearly shown in the toolbars and you have to actually look for uh, in the menus uh, from where you can get this drawing uh, tool feature so in order to in uh, access the drawing tool you have to go to the insert and then go to the drawing and then click new a uh, drawing uh, window will open and you will have to draw anything which you want in this new window but here as you would see that there is a, a separate uh, toolbar for this uh, window and if I go here uh, into the line you would see that in this uh, menu I there are options of line arrows uh, elbow connectors curved lines curved polygons and scribble so I'm just going to quickly show all these tools to you like if you want to draw a horizontal line you can just draw like this and if I want to draw a vertical line I am going to again select the line and I'm going to draw like this and if I want to draw a line with an arrow, I can select this second option from the menu and I can draw that line in which I will have this arrow on the top. And I can change the shape of uh, these arrows as well from here. Similarly, uh, the other side of uh, the arrow can also be uh, changed into uh, the shape, whatever you want. And these all options are available here. And in the next menu, if I want to draw an elbow connector, I can draw like this. If I want to draw a curved connector, I can draw like this one. And the next option is the polygon. So I can draw like this. And I believe I have to do a double click to release it. I have to press escape to uh, finish this polygon. And the next option is the scribble. This is in the true sense, the free drawing. So if you have a stylus, you can select this. And with the help of your stylus, you can start to write whatever you want. And interestingly, if you want to uh, insert your signature, uh, you can just go and click this scribble. And from there, you can uh, give your signature or insert your signature over here just like that. So these were all the features within this line option. And then the next option is uh, that of the shapes. And within the shapes, uh, you can add uh, the shapes, arrows, call out box, and the equations. So, so I'm not going to go into each things because you have seen it. Uh, I'm just going to draw one sample of an arrow, um, this one and one sample for the shapes for example i want to draw a circle so i'm just going to click that and i'm going to draw this circle and similarly i'm just going to draw a triangle like this one so in this way you can draw the call out also um, and then you can uh, change their color also from here uh, mind you that I'm not going in that detail, but uh, the customization features are available. Uh, if you insert a text box here, uh, you can write something within that text box and you can also change the size of uh, the font here. You can change the font type also. You can fill the uh, color. Um, you can fill the background of this text box. 
and if I want to insert an image within this my drawing I can click this image icon and from here either I can upload from my computer I can um, put the URL here if I have my own album in the Google Drive so I can also use those just as a sample I have inserted this image as you can see over here uh, so these are the different um, things uh, that you can do and um, so if you want to insert a word art you can also insert that from over here so once you are done with your drawing now what you can do is that you can just press save and close and this uh, drawing will now be inserted in your google docs uh, document but remember that this um, drawing will be inserted in the form of a, of an image or a static image you cannot edit uh, in this uh, within this google doc but here as you can see that i can simply drag uh, to resize this image and then i can select uh, this one and i can move the image here and there so if you want to draw more you can again go click the new drawing So you can add new drawings uh, within that and once you are done with this drawing you can just click save and close and this drawing will also be inserted here uh, but remember that in order to move this drawing you have to select this wrap text and then you can move uh, this drawing left or right and if there is anything you want to edit you would not be able to edit here within the google docs because this drawing is inserted as an image so in order to edit that image again you have to click edit and it will again open in that drawing window and here you can move or edit your uh, drawing and then you can again press save and close so in this way your drawing will be uh, reinserted again and now you can again uh, resize that drawing how you can circle a text uh, within google docs and this feature is again not at all user friendly you have to go into this drawing uh, window and then you have to click the insert of text box here you have to uh, insert your text and after your text has been inserted now you have to select uh, and insert a circle and now i can simply insert this circle i can move this circle up i can make it transparent and now in this way i have inserted or circled a text within this google docs now i can simply save and close it will again be inserted as an image so i've tried to cover everything um, how you can draw the line shape arrows how you can scribble how you can draw a circle call outs how you can insert a text box how you can insert an image how you can circle an image draw on an image and word art and then curve line but if there is still anything which you want to ask you can ask me in the comment section below i'll try to make another uh, tutorial on this i've made a lot of tutorials on google docs uh, if you want to see those short tutorials uh, check out this playlist which i uh, will uh, put up in the end screen card somewhere here uh, in any case thanks for watching like share and subscribe